known it's got a trolley one on the unit, it'll stop waiting for those component parts to be unloaded at the station. Which point we can unload, send the I cart on its way. It doesn't run you over, it has got a sick safety scanner underneath it, so it won't actually run you over. Then. Because it knows what variant of trolley it's got, that's why it doesn't move all the parts that you see later on. Okay, gentlemen, if you want to start then, thank you. That includes you, Spence. Okay, so we have a handheld barcode scanner. We can scan the barcode for the particular part that we send at the station. That will then illuminate the pick to light sensor units here. On the, on the station itself, so it'll tell you which component you've actually got to pick from the station. You see there's a green lamp on top of this unit here. So that'll give you the sequence of parts that you've got to pick for the particular assembly that you've just scanned in. So that's obviously independent of the limit of this If you select the wrong one, then the red light comes on to inform you for picking the wrong part. And we've also got to reset box at the station with the supervisor resetting that to light sequence. The other process is then coming down the line. Again, these are doing single wheel assemblies as it comes through on the line itself. The pallet is obviously naturally changed in orientation as it works around the system, as I mentioned to you previously. And then when we get round to this final station is where we complete the final caster assembly itself. We've obviously only got pick to light on the one station to demonstrate it to you. Uh, same, in the same way that we've only got the single uh, electronic screwdriver used at that station, we've got the battery tools at the other station. So what we're trying to show you really is as much as possible um, the flexibility and the different types of solutions you can use. All of the uh, FIFO component feed racks, Bosch Rex uh, materials, that have been constructed to build those racks up themselves. You'll see that on some of them they are actually trolley units. The reason they're trolley units mounted at the stations is if you got a, a big changeover of model or type of part that you put down the line, you can actually remove a complete um, material supply system and then introduce another one for a different model of product that you've got. Obviously the other way is to actually change the boxes themselves over. This gentleman is obviously just looking for the lighting and what have you and obviously you see that what we've tried to do is to supply some fairly concentrated lighting to each of the areas where the operators are working as well. So as we go around the system, the final station here is an actual um, check station. We're also fitting on a small label onto the unit, so that gets screwed onto it as an identification label on the unit itself. We again have another barcode scanner, and that's because we've got a SIP vision camera above, which is just doing a check on the unit itself to make sure that the caster assemblies are the right colour combination for the components that's being assembled. From point of view of um, reject identification or any false identification around the system, once one operator has assembled the caster, the next operator at the following station will then just check that and make sure that that's free running and there's no issues with that, as well as completing their own assembly on their own address lines. So we're working on a self-checking system until we come round to the end, then obviously we're doing a vision check just to make sure that there's nothing that's drastically wrong with that component before it leaves the line. At this point here, the part will then get taken off the pallet, gets put into a cardboard box, gets taped up, and we're actually using the Hijunker card as a, a sort of a shipment label as well, because that could contain the information of your customer there and go straight into the shipping docket and go out with the product itself. The pallet itself then obviously gets returned across to the other side of the system for recirculation through again. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight to what's going on. All you see in yellow, that means that's associated with the main bill there with the product itself. Now it brings a fresh trolley through from the dispatch area. Here, because it now knows it's got trolley version 2 on the cart itself. 
but you're working the tanks of exactly. 90 seconds. Exactly, one every 90 so seconds and you get four boxes.